guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if it's your first time here i'm vicky baloi and welcome i hope that you will click that subscribe button down below and join my youtube family so i'm back today with another video i know it's been forever but sorry for the next video so today i'm back again with another video and it is a wash day video so i'll be showing you guys how i wash this gorgeous crown over my head and i'm really excited to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by nilotica nilotica is a proudly south african plant-based moisturizing hair care range and today we'll be using their sheer and cocoa collection which is infused with the best quality sheer butter that you can find in the entire continent no cap and it's also infused with coconut oil and other amazing ingredients that we'll learn about as we go ahead with our wash day the shan coke collection was um specifically formulated for very dry and brittle hair like mine and also considering the fact that we just came out of winter we know how harsh winter can be towards our hair it makes our hair really dry and causes it to break because of the very dry and less humid environment so the sheer and cocoa collection is the best option for you to incorporate in your wash day routines in order to nourish and bring the moisture back into your hair and to also reverse the effects that winter had on our hair but i love about the range is that it's not only for girls with natural afro like mine it's also suitable for ladies who love protective hairstyles and those that are transitioning from straight to afro or natural hair because really the aim is to make sure that your hair is moisturized and healthy regardless of the form or state that it's in so if you want to see the products that are in the sheer and cocoa collection and how to use them please continue watching this video until the end and i hope that you will enjoy it and without wasting any more time let us get into our wash day So I had these cornrows slash wig lines that I braided with my own hair and I started by taking them down and obviously I sprayed a little bit of water to hydrate my hair because it was extremely dry and I didn't want to manipulate it in that state. This also helps to minimize hair breakage while unbraiding. unbraiding my hair I was also detangling at the same time and I used this sheer and cocoa detangling cream it is enriched with sheer butter coconut oil as well as pro vitamin B5 alternatively known as panthenol and would you look at that consistency the pro vitamin b5 or panthenol has deep moisturizing and detangling properties so this allows you to easily and effectively get rid of the knots in your hair with minimal breakage so if you haven't noticed too i actually skipped a line here and i was in a way so I first tried to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb. My hair didn't have a lot of knots which is why I opted to start with a wide tooth comb but if it had a lot of knots I was definitely going to start finger detangling first and then follow up with a wide tooth comb. This detangling cream can also be used as a pre-shampoo if you want or a pre-pull. And me being me, always being generous with the product, I decided to go in for a little bit more. And I decided to follow up with this detangling brush to get rid of any small or little knots that may be left in between the hair strands. And this detangling brush is to honestly just finish the job. It should be your last 
detangling step for you to be able to see that you have effectively detangled whether with your fingers or the white tooth comb this brush should be able to effortlessly glide through your hair strands so i went ahead with the unbraiding as well as the detangling I am finally done unbraiding and now detangling the last section of my hair. This is what I mean when I say that the tangling brush should effortlessly glide through your hair strands to show that you have properly detangled your hair and there are no knots left in between your hair strands. As you can see here, there is no knots at all. I am now going to cleanse or wash my hair using this Sheer and Coco moisturizing shampoo. So I hopped into the shower and I am wetting my hair before I can go in with the shampoo application. First things first, I must say that this shampoo has an amazing lather because I just went in with one pump and I got this good lathering and foamy consistency and i really really loved it and just like the detangling cream the moisturizing shampoo also contains sheer butter coconut oil as well as pro vitamin b5 it is a moisturizing shampoo so you are sure that it's going to effectively cleanse your hair without stripping its natural oils it is a sulfate free shampoo by the way which is good because sulfates are not good for your hair. I just finished washing the section of my hair and I just want you guys to see how clean it looks and also it is super super moisturized which is definitely the effect of the shampoo since it's a moisturizing shampoo. Just a cleansing tip from myself, when washing your hair, please to make sure that you don't only focus on your hair strength, you focus on your scalp as well. The importance of cleansing your scalp is to ensure that you get rid of any buildup that may be as a result of the natural oils that are produced by the scalp to nourish our hair, as well as product buildup from the products that we use daily on our hair. I'm now done cleansing my hair and I'm following up with this sheer and cocoa intensive repair and strengthening mask. This is a protein treatment. This contains high levels of protein and it is good for damaged hair. The last time I did a protein treatment was about two months ago if I'm not mistaken and I could see how brittle and dry my hair was. It was starting to break and fall off whenever I was styling or trying to comb so it desperately needed the this repair and strengthening intensive mask contains castor oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil as well as wheat oil which allow it to effectively condition your hair. It also has keratin which helps to restore the protein back into your hair. 
as seen in this clip i am working the product through my hair strands in smaller sections this helps to make sure that all your hair strands are coated with product and are getting all the necessary nutrients and nourishment from the product as opposed to working in big sections or just applying the product onto your hair without sectioning it you might miss some parts of your hair So I went ahead and did the other section. A fun fact about this intensive treatment is that it does contain protein and can be used as a protein treatment but also it can be used as a dip conditioner so it is definitely suitable to be used on a weekly basis. now done with half of my hair and i just wanted to come closer to the camera to show you guys how defined my hair looks the curls were definitely popping so i tied that section of my hair that i was done with and i moved on to another section I am now done with the treatment and I'm going to cover my hair with this plastic and put a shower cap over it in order to trap in the heat and allow the product to deeply penetrate into my hair strands. If you do like or if you do have a hooded dryer, you can sit under it with a moderate heat for at least 20 minutes. You should keep the plastic for 20 minutes as well. It's now about 20 minutes later and I went into the shower to rinse out the treatment. One thing about wash days, you will get yourself wet but I really really love it. I just want you guys to look at how thick my hair looks after this intensive treatment. Feel like the volume did increase a little bit I'm not sure if you guys do notice that but trust me it did my hair looks much more thicker and fuller right now I'm now done rinsing the hair and I went in with the Shea and Cocoa Replenishing Conditioner. This contains shea butter, avocado oil as well as coconut oil. I am still working in smaller sections and let me tell you guys I was impressed with how this product smells like it just smells amazing. I don't know what they did but it just smelled so good. 
I'm sure some of you guys are asking yourselves why is she conditioning her hair twice well it is very important to follow up with a conditioner after a protein or an intensive treatment in order to have a good balance of both to have a good balance of protein in your hair as well as moisture if you do a treatment that has protein or an intensive treatment and do not fill up with a moisture treatment you will notice that your hair is still very dry and brittle and breaks a lot this is because you did not replenish the moisture back into your hair instead it just has a lot of protein and lacking moisture which is why you will notice all the breakage so it is really really important to follow up with a moisture moisture treatment or deep conditioning treatment after your protein or intensive treatment like a conditioner should be this one also has an amazing slip like it easily glides through here it makes your hair really soft so if you'll be skipping the pre-poo or the detangling step that i did at the beginning using the detangling cream you can definitely detangle your hair while using this replenishing conditioner because it has that amazing slip that will allow you to easily glide your fingers or your white tooth comb through the head to get rid of knots because of its amazing slip one thing about these products they didn't lie when they said they will moisturize your hair because look at that definition every time i'm done applying each product or using each product my hair is just so nicely defined and it's because of the moisture that is in these products it's just so amazing so i went ahead and conditioned the rest of my head i also covered my head with a plastic and a shower cap here to trap in the heat and i'm going to sit under this for 15 minutes so after 15 minutes i obviously went back to the shower again to rinse the conditioner out i also took my shower did my skin care routine i'm sure you guys can see that my skin is glowing i didn't show you guys the rinsing process because you've seen too much of that already i want you guys to see how moisturized my hair looks and feels before i even do the lock method so these products are so good at moisturizing For my lock method, I'll be using the Sheer and Coco Repairing Leave-In Conditioner. I'll also be using the Sheer and Coco Hair Growth Oil. And lastly for the C, I'll be using the Sheer and Coco Moisturizing Curling Cream. So when styling or doing the lock method, I work in very very smaller sections than i've been when i was shampooing and treating my hair this is so i get a more defined look or more defined curls So after getting a desired section size of my hair, I then go in with the leave-in conditioner. I apply that on that smaller section and work it through from the tips of my hair down to the roots. I then go in with the hair growth oil. It has a really nice and light consistency so it's not too heavy on the hair i really really love that it easily absorbs onto the hair same thing I work through from the tips down to the root and then lastly i follow in with the cream which is this moisturizing curling cream from the sheer and coco collection just apply a little bit and again it smells amazing all of these products in the Shea and Coco collection smell really good. Also, I get through your hair from the tips to the root. And wow, guys, these products are so, so moisturizing. So I usually prefer to style my hair in the small three-strand braids. Or at least that's the only way I know how to. I still don't know how to do twists on my hair. But I try to learn and I'm getting there. So I do these mini three strand braids to style and to stretch out 
the hair after the lock method while i style my hair i want us to unpack what each of these three products are made of and what they do for your hair firstly the leave-in conditioner contains amino acids that rehydrate your hair and protect it from any unnecessary breakage it is very rich and creamy so this allows it to soften your hair while restoring its moisture balance and then secondly we have the hair growth oil but before we talk about the hair growth oil i just want to highlight that since nilotica has changed its look even some of the products have also changed their names including this hair growth oil it was the nourishing oil before and it is now the hair growth oil the ingredients haven't changed it is still the same ingredients you use it the same way it's only the name change the hair growth oil contains castor oil, marilla oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil as well as coconut oil. A blend of all these amazing oils easily penetrates the strands of your hair to seal in the moisture while stimulating hair growth as well. My favorite thing about this oil, and I think I've mentioned this before earlier in the video, is the consistency. It's a very lightweight oil, even with a blend of thick oils like your castor oil, it's still a lightweight oil, which makes it easy for it to absorb onto the hair and doesn't weigh down your hair strands. And the last product on our lock method is the moisturizing curling cream. This contains coconut oil, shea butter, pro vitamin B5, grapeseed oil, as well as sunflower extract. This curling cream doesn't only define your hair, it also softens and moisturizes it. Whether you are doing a braid or twist out, finger coils, a wash and go, or whether you are using curling rods, it will define your hair. You don't have to use it only during the lock method or after you've just washed your hair. You can also use it to re-moisturize your curls. I am finally done doing my lock method and I am now braiding the last, last, last section of my hair. I love many things about the Nilotica Shea and Coco collection. But one of my favorite things about it is how easily accessible and affordable these products are. You guys won't believe me if I told you that you can actually get each of their products for less than 150 rands. And for me, that's just what makes me give these products a 10 out of 10. Done with the braids, I am now going in with the hair growth oil for the last time to seal everything in. I am just massaging the oil onto my hair and a little bit onto my scalp as well as my hairline to give it that moisture and nourishment because it needs it as well. I'm going to keep these mini braids overnight and I'm going to and do them tomorrow hopefully i will get my braid out because i always fumble i always mess it up so i'm crossing fingers that tomorrow my hair will be dry enough and i'll be able to unravel them and still get the desired definition It is the next day and it is now time to unravel these braids I'm sure you're asking yourself why is she applying the oil again applying a little bit of oil onto your hair just before you unravel the twist out or your braid out allows you to maintain the definition as well as boost your hair with a little bit of shine when unbraiding or untwisting your hair also make sure that you do it gently so to avoid breakage as well as to get the definition that you want 
I just finished unbraiding one section and I am impressed with how it turned out. Look at how defined and curly those coils are. I must say that I'm really impressed with what that moisturizing killing cream did. So I went ahead and unbraided the rest of my head. I am happy with the definition, the curls, the coils, it looks amazing. It's really soft as well and moisturized. Just look at those curls. I am now separating my unraveled braid out to get a much bigger hair volume. Just to remind you guys again, do make sure that you are gentle during this step as well to avoid hair breakage and to also avoid messing up your curls or the definition. If you want to achieve a bigger hair volume, you need to separate more of your unraveled braid out or twist out just like i did but you also need to keep in mind that separating much of your hair will result in a less defined twist out or braid out can we just take a moment and appreciate how nicely shiny my hair looks it's also so soft and moisturized easily manageable as well I am done separating my unraveled braid out as you can see the definition is still there like I said you are going to lose a little bit of definition as you separate your hair and the more separation you make the more definition you lose but it is still a little bit defined and curly I went ahead and separated the unraveled braid out on the other side done separating my unraveled braid out if you like you can just leave it at this step but i went ahead and tried to comb out my hair to get an even much more hair volume if you're going to be doing this please ensure that you comb the hair at the roots and not at the tips just so you don't lose or comb out your defined curls i initially did a side part but i ended up not liking it and i opted for this instead and voila this is how the final look is i am really really happy what makes me the most happy is actually how soft and easily manageable my hair is and was during this entire wash day process. We all know how tough and difficult natural hair or afro can be, especially during wash days, but I honestly believe that these products made everything easy for me and it is because of the amazing nourishing ingredients in them. And that's it thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you thank you so much if you made it up until this far if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know which product from the sheer and coco collection you are keen on trying do share this video as well and lastly, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much once again for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.